Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope you're having an awesome day. I just had my, um, the first opportunity to check out, um, I can't remember her first name, Hollis, Rachel Hollis. She is the author of a book called Girl, Wash Your Face. And Michelle uh, Forsyth put it up in the boot camp, a link to her video. And it's so cool because so much of what she said is like boot camp terminology of um, all in massive action and reverse engineer and no one else is going to make your dreams happen except you. And it was really fun to see. So I encourage all of you, I'll make sure I put the link below. Um, but I, I just want to, uh, and that's why I brought Dr. Claire on today. Hey, Dr. Brett, thanks for joining us. Um, Hi. For those of you who don't know Dr. Claire, Dr. Claire has been in chiropractic forever, pretty much since Dee Dee, and um, is a huge, you know, uh, had a very successful practice, then had a successful practice with Dr. Steve, her husband, and now they are ambassadors literally all over the world for chiropractic. They were recently in China, then they were just up in Michigan. Now I get to see Dr. Claire on Thursday. I hope all of you come to our women's reception. It's at Dr. Claire's daughter's office, Dr. Kristen. Um, and we just want you to come, like bring another chiropractic colleague, bring a female student and come and just fellowship with us, give love, receive love. We're just all gonna share in our chiropractic sisterhood. So, hey, there's Dr. Michelle. Hey, Dr. Michelle. So Dr. Claire. There you go. Dr. Dr. Claire is already getting started with a glass of white wine. So Dr. Claire, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. So let's, let's jump in and talk. Go ahead. What are we talking about today? Yeah. So our topic today, and I would love for those of you who are joining us to pop in your comments below. The, the topic is tribe and the importance of having your people so that you don't feel isolated, you don't feel alone. I was on the phone with actually our newest boot camper um, this morning and she was telling me, you know what, Dr. Barb, like I get together with chiropractors on a regular basis, but I just still feel so alone because they're not exactly my people. Like they're not exactly the same as I am. Um, and so it, I think it's so important to have your tribe and to be connected to them on many ways. Like right now, Dr. Claire is gone, but she'll be back. But look, I've got my tribe with me. I have Dr. Brett and Dr. Michelle and Dr. Robin. And it's so cool that we get to be together, not only in our private Facebook group, but also here on Facebook Live. And a huge shout out to all of you for being just faithful viewers and always turning, uh, turning into these Facebook lives and saying hello and all of that in a second, just a second, I've got to, um, Dr. Claire be right back with us. So, hey, Dr. Robin, Dr. Michelle and Dr. Brad, did you guys watch that video of Rachel Hollis that Michelle Forsyth just posted it in the boot camp on Girl, Wash Your Face? Did you three watch that? That was so cool because it is so much like the boot camp. So, you know, mass movement, right, is a triangle. So down here you have a charismatic leader. Up here you have the culture. I always forget the third one. Um, uh, that drives me crazy. Michelle, you probably know what it is. Um, but the, the top one here, the, the culture, is like your lexicon or the language that you have. And so she was just like right there saying the exact same things that we say in the boot camp. So I'm so proud of each and every one of you and just appreciate you um, to the moon and back. And I see Dr. Shauna is with us. Um, and so all of you boot campers who are joining me now and those who potentially want to join, I will let you know I made this announcement today on a Facebook Live I did with Dr. Stephanie Rosenhart. So thank you so much, Dr. Stephanie, for um, interviewing me today. But in case you don't know your opportunity to be in this incredible tribe called the 56 day chiropractic boot camp to double your business, the, um, um, 
Um, the doors close August 31st. So if you want to get in, you got to get in touch with me, 56daycarabootcamp.com backslash apply. Maybe Robin or Michelle or Dina or Brett um, could put the link in the comment section, please. 56daycarabootcamp.com backslash apply. You have to talk to me before you get in because we're a pretty amazing bunch and I want to make sure that we're going to be a fit for you and that you're a fit for us. So, um, Hey, Dr. Dina, welcome. Welcome. It's good to see you. Um, Dina said she saw Jeannie Ohm in the elevator Saturday night. That's pretty cool. She's an awesome lady. I have so enjoyed my Facebook lives with Dr. Jeannie Ohm. If you haven't caught one, I did one, I think two weeks ago. And there was just like, when you, when you hear Jeannie speak, there's just like a, Oh, that's better. I feel calm. Um, so at any rate, um, would love to see if you're a fit for our, our boot camp. So let me just see here for a second. Thanks for being patient. Um, Dr. Claire says computer problem. It may take a minute. So do me a favor, drop in the comment section. What's awesome so far about your week. And did you know that there are 140 days left this year? There's only 148 days left in 2018, which is still plenty of time to make it your best year ever. But I got to tell you, that's not going to happen by going small. That's not going to happen by taking small steps. That's only going to be happen by being all in and taking massive action, which is exactly why it's so important to be a gold digger and, and to have the support in the community of individuals who are doing the exact same thing. So I'll share something with you that was Dina Riggins is stressing. All right, girlfriend, you, you messaged me that, um, that, and Dr. Michelle's got some big stuff happening November 7th, woo, woo. Woo, woo. I love that. I love that. I love that, that. Dr. Robin has like all kinds of new stuff going on in her life. Dr. Dina is stressing, but we're all here. Dr. Dina's looking at a house. We got cool stuff. Dr. Brett is having a big year as well. It's so exciting. If you're not in the boot camp, I got to tell you, you're missing out. I had a fun weekend. We did wood this weekend. So if you buck up wood, and split wood and stack it for a wood stove or a fireplace. Comment below. That's what we were working on because it's not too long and the snow is going to be falling here in Alaska. So we like to hunt and fish for our own food as well. We like to have our own heat source, which comes from, hey, Michael Daly, a big hi from Scotland. Wow, that's pretty cool. So who else are you joining from? Michelle says, Risa Enterprises, woo, woo, that's right, Risa Enterprises are coming to all of the world, November the 7th, um, Michelle says, 140 days, I know, crazy, um, Dina's going to have a wood stove in the new house, that is so awesome, I love a wood stove, because it's that whole like it heats everything around you. So when you sit down on the couch, it's warm. When you touch your countertops, it's warm. I got to believe in Scotland, Michael, you guys are doing some, some wood heat over there, I would think. Um, I'm, I'm excited to have that here. And we have a new wood stove, a hearthstone. So it's soapstone instead of steel or cast iron. So that will be a brand new thing for us. And I got to meet a new contractor today. So that was rather exciting. Um, if you're not on my email list, I got to tell you, drop your, send me your email address via um, Facebook private messenger. I've got a cool series of 10 coming out this week. And as I was writing this weekend, it kept coming to my mind of get out of your head and into your heart. Get out of our head and into our heart. And so what I did is I went through and identified the top 10 ways that we can know that we're in our heart, our head, instead of coming from our heart. So it, hey, Dr. Nicole, it's so good to see you, doll. Beautiful pictures of you from Palmer Homecoming. I saw you up on top of, can't remember the name of that 
bar restaurant. I want to call it up, but that doesn't sound quite right, but it may be right. Um, you look beautiful as always, Dr. Nicole. So thank you so much. Hey, Dr. Sarah. Yay, it's good to see you. And Dr. Sarah recently had an awesome Women's Empowerment Weekend um, event. Dr. Sarah, you have to pop below how that went. She um, partnered with other individuals in her community in order to pro provide women, um, I think there was self-defense and of course chiropractic care. And I think there was nutrition and I think as well exercise, but I can't quite remember. So you'll have to um, pop that in the, the comment section. And Dr. Shauna, welcome, welcome. I know I mentioned you before, but it's great to see you, Del. You're having a huge year as well. Congratulations. Um, all right. So at any rate, going back to the top 10. So it's get out of your head and into your heart. How to know that we're just constantly in our head. I don't know about you, but I've become more aware of what's taking my energy, whether it's my physical energy, my emotional energy, and is whatever that is that's taking my energy serving me? Is that really what is aligned with my optimum well-being? Is that really what's aligned with my Emerald City? Is it really what's aligned with the relationships that I want to have? And so as I go through that, I also, um, oh, Michelle says, we have our women's event on the 24th. Hit me up, boot campers, if you want deets. And Dr. Michelle and, and her CA, Heather, did so a few weeks ago in the boot camp. Gosh, I guess maybe it was eight weeks ago now. I posted an article about playing in the dirt and how important it was to play in the dirt. And so Dr. Michelle posted it. And then six was wanting to meet at a local park and playing with the dirt. And then she did a really good job using her one, two, three employee to run a process whereby now those individuals are going into a system to stay in touch with, um, th with Dr. Michelle, to stay in touch with them, to keep building events to come, to have this great event, but to make sure we keep building. It's just like we never lose. We either win or we learn. So as long as you've done great promotion, you have your event, even if everyone who you wanted to doesn't show up, you've got to know that you have in place all of these systems in order to make sure you're staying in touch with them so that you're in staying in touch with these individuals for a year, right? At least once a week for a year. And 70% of them will do business with you in a year if you stay in touch with them. So let's look at, let's look at what this can potentially look like. So like Dr. Michelle, so 600 people, right? So times 70, 420. So if you stay in touch with them, 420 of them will do business with you within a year. That's crazy. All because we we planted, we wait, we planted a seed and then we kept watering it and nurturing it and watering it and nurturing it and watering it and nurturing it. It's not that hard. And so once you have these systems in place, we just keep running them and running them and running them. And all of you know about those kinds of things in the boot camp. But if you're not in the boot camp, you probably don't know. Can you do that? It's a skill I learned in elementary school. Sierra Guido says, building our tribe with focus on self-defense. I love that. And it's so important for women, for girls. And, and nowadays, young boys have to be careful too. All of us need to be aware. I know um, a couple years ago, I went to a class called Refuse to Be a Victim. It was put on by a couple of my friends, um, John Anthony and Christian McCormick own a company called Point Blank Firearms and they they um they they cater to women but they also serve they also serve men and so it was refused to be a victim of how important it is to be aware of your surroundings. Um, and because it's an NRA class, I encourage all of you um, go to NRA.com, look for where there's a refuse to be a victim in your area. Um, you know, it went through how we can be a victim in our own home. I mean, we all think that our home is our sanctuary and it's our safe place. But if you're not protecting yourself, you can be a victim in your own home or how important it is to be, um, you know, like aware when you're out in, in your community. You know, it's really easy when we're schlepping kids around and we put kids in car seats and diaper bags and 
all of our stuff or we're walking. I'm always amazed how many people are looking at their cell phone while they're walking in a parking lot. Hello, you can be snagged, snatched up pretty easily. So please refuse to be a victim by being smart and making sure that, um, that you are aware of your surroundings. So I don't even know how I go. Oh, because Dr. Sarah said that at her event, they had self-defense. So Dr. Michelle said, we have had eight new practice members that have come from the follow-up system. Eight new practice members because she's implementing the follow-up system. Who here would like eight new practice members just because you follow up? Put your name below if you would like the opportunity to serve eight new practice members. And then listen to this, right? So if you go eight and each one of those individuals know 250 people, there's your reach, 2,000. All because you follow up all because you take action and you put systems in place for following up, like, hello, it just doesn't really get any easier than that. You just have to run the systems and be consistent. Um, Dr. Robin put the the uh, the link in there, 56daychirobootcamp.com backslash apply. You got to go through there and talk to me before you can come into the boot camp. So again, there are lots of perks of being a founding member that are going to vanish and go away when membership closes um, at the end of August. If I decide to open it back up in the in future months, um, the, a lot of the perks that you're getting right now, I promise you, you will not get. So come on in, join the boot camp if you aren't already a member. Um, Dr. S Dr. Sarah said, hi, everybody. All right. So um, the best part was I didn't have to do it. Kevin, my VA did it. So awesome. Yeah. So so here's something really important. And, and Dr. Michelle um, is doing a great job with this is your CAs or your VAs. It's really important to have them run processes versus projects. Yes. So, oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> was Dr. Claire. Um, yeah. You can be OG with us. I don't know what OG is. Michelle, what's OG? Michelle, tell me in just a second. So Dr. Claire, welcome, welcome back. Um, Thank you. We were just talking about the importance of- um, My computer decided it was time to totally reboot from start, like reloading everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least it's all- uh, all cleaned up now, right? That's a cool thing. Um, so let's talk about community. How important in your years, let, let's first go, how many years since you started chiropractic? Like all the way back to when you started chiropractic college? Oh gosh, I've been in practice 30 years and then three years before that chiropractic school and then started as a patient probably three years before that. So it's been a while. <laughs> okay. So in, in those 30 years, what have been your observations regarding being involved with community, whether that's being a member of the ICA or having a, a close group of girlfriends or a collection of individuals who have similar goals or a similar mindset or um, you know, like those, those kinds of commonalities. I think it's huge, it's very important. You know, you'll see the doctors who quit practice, you know, who just walk away, it's because they're not connected. They're not connected to anybody. They think that you get together with other chiropractors once a year when you go for CE. And I don't know about you, but for me, chiropractors are my friends, my family, my everything. And uh, I think it's important to try to figure out where you fit in best. Um, and I think there's a lot of things that play into it, um, among them values. And I think knowing what your values are and choosing who you're going to hang out with is huge. Uh, I think that's very important. Absolutely. And, absolutely. Yeah. And, and you'll see the most successful doctors always have, and I hate to say followers, but, or hangers on, but they have a community around them. Um, I have one, one friend who's hugely, immensely successful and, you know, he doesn't allow any negativity around him. He's like, you start complaining about something in practice, he just laughs. <laughs> he laughs and walks over to someone else because he doesn't, he says, I don't want that energy to even enter into my bubble. 
And he's just always surrounded by lots of chiropractors who are always doing well and growing. That's what it's about. That's awesome. awesome. I love that. that. Kind of. of. Um, Um, So so I'm getting feedback. Do you have a headset? Oh, geez. I didn't plug one in. You want me to see if I can get one? Um, I just won't talk much. And then there won't be feedback. So it just went away. So whatever you did, it went away. So that's all good. Okay, good. I don't hear it anymore. Um, so so let me ask you about that. Hey, Hannah. Welcome, welcome. And hey, JJ. So JJ and I went to school together. So it's really fun to see her. And Dr. Hannah is in, in oh, Portland, hi. Idaho. So it's great to see both of you ladies. Um, so... So let me ask you this about your friend who, if somebody has something negative to say, he's like, move on, find somebody else to talk to. So what about those individuals who would say to you, well, Dr. Claire, like sometimes life is tough. Sometimes I want to talk about, you know, that, that it's rough. Maybe it's been a bad month or maybe a CA did something or maybe a a, a colleague or maybe like insurance has got you down. How, how have you found it's best to deal with that kind of stuff? I think it's important to have people who you can talk to like that. And and I, I get his point, and I'm not sure I completely, you know, mesh with that because I'm one of those who likes to help. I like to mentor. I like to, you know, bounce ideas off people. You know, I'm one of those, you know, you talk it out, and then all of a sudden the answer will come. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not sure his way is the right way, but it worked for him. Uh, but the fact that you have community is huge. That's what you have, you know, uh, a tribe, so to speak, you know, a, a group, a small group of like minded people with a similar understanding and similar values. Uh, and that's huge. Absolutely. And and Michelle um, and Hannah, I don't know if you saw because you guys jumped on I think, after I started. Well, first, a video by Rachel Hollis, um, Girl, Wash Your Face. That is so cool talking about just raising your come from, raising your like, get after it. And don't tell me your excuses, your excuses, yeah. your excuses happened back there. Like right. even if this morning I woke up and it was a horrible morning, that's still behind me. Like I still have right now, like right this very minute, I can turn this whole day around and do something great. Like right now, I can decide the rest of this year is going to be fabulous. Does that mean everything's going to be perfect? Oh my, it definitely does not. But I know for sure I don't have to repeat my past. And hallelujah, that is great news for all of us. Now, what if the past was great? Well, the awesome thing about that is now you can rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat moving forward. And that's another thing your your tribe is there for is to cheer you on and tell you great job and go get them, girl, and go get them, dude. And what's next? Like, if you're here, what's it going to take to vibrate here? Like, we're always thankful, always grateful, but never satisfied. We exactly. keep growing and we keep growing. So Dr. Claire, at a time in your and Dr. Steve's lives where, you know, it's the golden years, what keeps the two of you on the road and spreading the message and helping out chiropractors and, and doing everything you can to change the health quotient in this, in this world, really? It, it's our mission. Um, you know, we really, I hate to say it, but we really want to start a revolution and turn healthcare around. You know, Steve's working on the political side uh, right up to Washington, D.C. and and speaking to the director of the NIH and things like that, because you know what? Not enough attention and not enough is being given to chiropractic. Not we're not getting the accolades we deserve. And so, you know, we've just made it our mission to further chiropractic, to serve our profession in another way. Um, It's our passion. It's our passion. You know, so. You know, we're everywhere and, and that's, it's important to us. It's important to us to see the ICA grow, you know, sometimes, and, and I, I was just recently out at Life West, the wave this last weekend and uh, the two of us went and one of the young docs, and I call my young buck said to me, why should I be a member? So I went through my little spiel about who's looking out for your right to practice. I said, in Canada, they're saying that you can't adjust 
pediatrics. In Australia, they're saying no pediatrics adjusting. You've got states where they're trying to bring drugs in. And it's a small group of like 10 or 12 doctors who are making a change or trying to make a change. And we're not going to let that happen. You've got insurance companies. You have an organization that came out with this choosing wisely, you know, platform and saying, Rather. you know, you shouldn't take x-rays, you know, and and so we're like, I said, we're out there protecting your right to practice. You know, and one of the docs in one of the Western states called us up and said, hey, you know, I'm being sued and that choosing wisely just came out. And they're using it against me. You know, who came to the rescue? You know, and so I said, that's what you're doing it for. He says, yeah, but what's in it for me? You know, what? why should I be a member? And I'm like, wow, because next they come for you, <laughs> you know? And right. he's like, no, no. Why should I be a member? And I just, it was hard for me to, I didn't get it. I really yeah. didn't. I, I, so I had to come up with, you know, member benefits. And yeah, there's a whole list of member benefits. My opinion on why you belong, because it's good citizenship. It's integrity. It's what we're supposed to do. You need the member benefit list? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> you know, everything yeah. from... Um, the Practice Success Academy, which you were a participant of, and and you did a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Um, to, to you know, there's a million of them. You know, seminars and and discounts and you know all kinds of things. But if if you don't have that sense of belonging to this profession, this heart, you know, then where are you? You know, you're going to one day be in your practice all alone and looking around and saying, yeah, but. You know, who do you talk to? Who do you bounce things off of? Who do you, who gives you a hand up when you need it? And who, when do you get to give a hand up to someone else? It's huge. And I think that's so important. And that's some, uh, you know, something I really want to call out to the female chiropractors and students who are in the Atlanta area about our reception on Thursday. You know, maybe, maybe you're doing great in practice. Maybe school is going awesome for you. Well, guess what? There may be somebody there on Thursday night that needs your hug, that needs your attention, that needs your eye contact and listening to them, who needs to hear your message, who needs to hear your sto story of triumph. Like it's not just about our own journey. It's about how many people are you helping along the way in whatever capacity they are. Like, you know, I... I went through a, a nasty divorce and yeah, it was really tough, but I'm so thankful because now when I meet women who are either in the throes of doing that or, or have been in, I can go, I've been there. Like I got you sister. I, I know that kind of pain, not let's like sit and dwell on it, but let's get it on. <laughs> let's take that next step together. Right. And it's so important that we and see it's not just what's in it for us. But what's in it for you could be that you give back, could right. be that you inspire others, that you never know if because you meet Dr. Claire, she knows someone who's going to give you that next step up, who's going to give you that next opportunity. What were you going to say? Um, it, it's, it's so important. You know, they see that you made it through it, if nothing else. You know, going through the divorce is one example. You made it through that and look where you came out whoa you know right yeah. So, yeah so just seeing another person is is very important you know there's another story i want to tell you that i share from the weekend uh out at life west and i met a doctor and he introduced himself and he nodded and he kept smiling at me you know 30 years you know i'm sorry you know and, and i've spoken at so many places and you know anyway he says you know you gave my son his first adjustment i was like um, I did. And I'm looking at his name and I'm like, tell me more. And he said, you came and you spoke over at Life University. I was in first quarter and you came to my class. And he said, and this is what you said. And he started telling me and he picked up his hand and pointed his finger. And I knew it's exactly what I said. I mean, it was like, I knew it. And he said, and, and right after that, my son got pneumonia and I said to my wife, who's a nurse and worked at the local hospital, we're going to this chiropractor and we're bringing him there. And he said, and he said, we had to pass a lot of chiropractors to get to your office. And on the third visit, the pneumonia was gone and he never had a drug and never had anything. And, and 
he says, you were, you were like, I'm seeing him every day until he's better. And, yes. And he was. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, and I don't remember it. And that's not okay. You know, why don't we, you know, but then again, maybe it is okay. Maybe it's okay that, you know, we've touched the lives of millions of people. You know, I'll never forget the day my husband said to me, you've done over a million adjustments. And I was like, really? <laughs> you know, but maybe it is okay. But then this other part of me was like, why don't I remember every little case? And you don't. But I changed his life because now this doc is over practicing in India. Wow. And, and help him start a chiropractic school over there and start, you know, there's a, a, an association of chiropractors over there. And, and I'm like sitting there going, wow, what I said to him in first quarter molded him. Molded yes. him. That is and I'm so like, cool. That, that is so cool that it blows me away. <laughs> I'm yeah. like sitting there going, wow. You know, so community, you know, having an opportunity. We all have it when we're in school and then you get out and you're in your practice all by yourself. Mm. Then what do you do? You know, you go from having a million people you can bounce every case off of, you know, and, and instructors and, and, and um, clinic directors and everybody, you know, uh, and then all of a sudden you're in your own practice. And what do you do? Do you back down? You know, do you stay strong or do you back down? Yeah. You know, it, I think community is huge and, and there isn't even a big enough word. Huge isn't even big enough. <laughs> I agree. You know, our, our pastor talked about, um, you know, if you're just all on your own and he used the, the reference of a cinder block, you know, so if there's just a cinder block sitting over there by itself and it's like up on its, you know, it's like this, it's easy to hit that thing over. But you take a wall that's full of lots of cinder blocks and they're, they're you know, they're um, concreted together. And I'm sorry, honey, my husband's in construction. That's probably not the right word, but they're <laughs> concreted together. So now they're a wall. It's just one cinder block after one cinder block after one cinder block. It's like your tribe. You're knitted together. You're fashioned together because of of similarities because of values because you want as much for the other person as you want for yourself because we can't possibly experience everything in life but together we can know what things we want to experience and then go forward you know we when when you go through happy times and sad times both occasions are better when you have a community to celebrate with you or a community to cry with you. Yeah. You have a community to, to help you figure things out and a community where you can participate. And that's a great example of going from school when we're together, like 20, I felt like the people I went through Logan with, I was with them 24 seven, you know, like we started in trimester one and it was like what, seven, I think class started at 7.25 in the morning and some days we didn't get done till 5.30. And then the next day it was the same thing over and over again. You guys are, I mean, we're together for three and a half years like that. Right. And then you get into your practice and now like the real world happens and many people are all alone. But let me tell you that being alone is your choice, right? That being alone is your choice because there are lots of hands here. Are my two right here. I'm telling you, I know Dr. Aaron's hands are extended. Dr. Brianna's hands. Dr. Kristen's, Dr. Hannah's, Dr. Michelle's, Dr. Claire's, Dr. JJ's, Dr. Michelle's, Dr. Robin's, Dr. Sarah's, Dr. Nicole's, Dr. Dina's, Dr. Michael, Dr. Brett, all of us, we have two hands, we're extending them to you. We are more than happy to help. And for it, we're asking for your hand back because we're in this game called life and we're in it to win it together. It is not a solitary journey. I don't care who you are. It is not a solitary journey. And it's so much more fun to do it together. So Dr. Claire, let's talk for a second about what has been, let's just say in your last 30 days, the mm -hmm. great, like your greatest memory these past 30 days, because you've been on a whirlwind for oh, like, it seems like this whole year. Yeah, we've, we've been kind of, you know, racking up the miles and you know, <laughs> it's gotten to the point now Delta just says, you have an upgrade. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> you know, 
we've had a quite a, a whirlwind. Um, I think, wow, I think uh, a great aha that I'd like to share is yeah. how open China is to the concept of chiropractic. And I would like to see all of us put our consciousness towards that and focus on it so that it will happen. You know, China moves slowly. It's a cultural thing. Uh, yet they'll build a house or they'll build a skyscrapers overnight. But for some reason, change comes slowly. And I really want to see this happen within the next year or two. I really want to see some big changes there. Uh, I think over the weekend, I talked to a couple of uh, the international docs who just showed up at Life West. I guess they had gone to school there and, and how eager they were to be a part of the ICA and how they want to know if we'll come to them and help them in their countries. And that's what we're about, you know, so, so with the world getting smaller and, and airlines and everything, it, we're able to do that more than 30 years ago. Um, I think Europe is wide open and asking us to come over and, and help them grow real, true chiropractic uh, because some of it's a little watered down in some places. Um, you know, so, so I think those are the big ahas I've had in the last 30 days. Um, I think, you know, hearing from this one doctor who I spoke to as a student and him saying my words, I have to tell you, I said to myself, maybe I've started watering it down a little. You know, nice. I really apparently got in his face or got in their face. I was speaking to the whole class. And apparently I stood there and I said, you know, I don't want to hear that that if someday um, a, a child's going to come into your office and I don't want to hear that you didn't know what to do and you referred them out. I want to make sure you do it. So learn everything. Uh, you know, maybe I started backing down a little on that one. I think it's so important for the students. I don't know how many are on the call, hopefully a few. But it's so important for them to learn everything they possibly can in school. You know, there used to be a saying, and I don't know about it, Logan, but at life they used to say, oh, just learn it for the test. And then when you're done, you know, dump it. Up, you know, yeah, dump it because you won't need it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't like that. Never did. I, I think I backed down a little bit on saying it. You know, I think it's vitally important that we take whatever level we're at and we improve it ourselves and we expect improvement from those around us that we have to ratchet it up you know and and make our profession greater and there's lots of ways to do that but being a member is one of them you know right yes you know, you know I, you know they i was check i was at life west and you know i was manning the ica booth and you know of course i ran in and went to most of the presentations and they kept trying to scan me in and um Share. <laughs> share this. Share this broadcast, everyone, right now. Yeah. Share so that the people uh, that you know. I, I walked in and they kept trying to scam me. I kept saying, oh, I don't need the credit. And then I started thinking about it. How many credits do I have so far this year? I'm probably four times over what's required for my state. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And we're already in August. <laughs> you know, I think we're never too old to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, we never know it all. And there's always one thing you can take away. You know, I, I heard a presentation from one of our docs and, you know, I've heard probably almost the same presentation before and I still had takeaways and I ran yeah. up to her and gave her a big hug. And I said, every time you tell that story, I cry, keep telling it. <laughs> That's, That's so funny. funny. Every you know, time I have the same response, but tell it again. Tell it again, because you know what? It rekindles inside mm -hmm. my heart, my mission. Yeah. And I think that's the same in our practice. Like, I think that we get, we get bored telling the story or we think, you know what? I've already said this to the, this practice member before, but listen, your practice member today isn't the same person that they were 30 days ago. Like they've had 30 days of experiences. They've had 30 days of hopefully learning or 30 days of relationships that now your message is going to be a little bit different. So please never, ever, ever, ever slack on sharing the story and share it in lots of different ways. Share it as analogies, share it as articles, share it as testimonials, share it as whiteboard topics, share it as Facebook Live, share it as, 
just a conversation with the practice member. Introduce your practice members together and please recognize that no one else is bored. Right. They're and, not bored okay. with the story. You. I think you're, the way you're having everyone do their testimonials, testimonials are as much for the public, for your other practice members, as much as it is for you. Yes. Because sometimes we forget, like I forgot, three days he was over pneumonia with no drugs, huge. You know, yes. that, you know that's a chiropractic miracle. That's not a me miracle, it's a chiropractic miracle. You yes. know, and so awesome for them because how easy it would have been for her to just, you know, she was a nurse at the local hospital. How easy it would have been for her to just get the drugs. You know? All right. And it so, was a so we're going to go there, okay? And testimonials. So here's the deal. You and I both talked to chiropractors who don't ask for testimonials. So in, in the boot camp, in the daily success sheet, we have target testimonials, ask for testimonials, and share testimonials, right? So, um, so you target, you ask for, you collect, and you share four steps. And uh, interestingly enough, I was talking with a, a, on a private coaching call the other day, and the doctor said, well, I don't really ask for them. And so we started getting through the mindset of it. And she's always very open and honest about her feelings and her mindset. And she's like, well, I, I don't want... <clears throat> I was kind of picking up that maybe she didn't ask for them because she felt like it was kind of like tooting her horn. Mm -hmm. And if, if you're watching this right now and you don't ask for testimonials because you feel like it's tooting your horn, just put in the comment section. Yeah, that's me. You know, I, I, I kind of feel like when I ask people for testimonials, it's like tooting my ho own horn or I'm asking them to make me feel better. And, and that's totally okay. So I'm going to blow your mind on this shift of consciousness right here. Mm -hmm. It's not about you. Right. Like as chiropractors, we're like the key that goes in the ignition that starts all of these incredible things that their body was designed to be, right? Like Ginny Ohm says, and like we all say, life expresses intelligence. If they're subluxated, they're not going to be expressing their maximum intelligence, their maximum potential. So we, as their chiropractor, we locate, correct, analyze, and adjust them, right? Like we do a pre-check, we adjust them, we do a post-check, and we're like, your body is at its maximum potential for where it can be right, right. now. That is their story. Right. And when we ask them and they share it, it's their opportunity to celebrate. It's, it's their opportunity to be the star. But if we don't ask them, how will they be the star? And they're your greatest source of believability. Your testimonials are your greatest source of believability. So please, please, please get out of your mind and into your heart, out of your mind and into your heart and ask your practice members to share their testimonial with you. Even if it's just the last 30 days or it's been, they've been with you for 10 years, a really easy way to do it is on your whiteboard, write the word value. And ask your practice members, what do you value most about our relationship in your care? What's easier since you've been getting adjusted? How are you showing up bigger in your life since you've been getting adjusted? How are you loving better? How are you thinking better? How are you feel? Yes, you can ask them how they're feeling better. It's still part of nerve system function, how they are feeling. So please, out of your head, into your heart and ask for testimonials. It's not about you, it's about them. And as a result of asking for testimonials, I promise. So you gotta target, and by targeting, you're looking to see who's coming in today. Oh, Steve is. I'm gonna ask Steven for a testimonial today because you know what, the other day he said he was doing really well, so I wanna talk more. And please don't report to the person about themselves. Like. It's, it doesn't sound like this. Hey, Steven, you know, so you've been doing really well. So, um, you know, I thought you could send in your friends and family members. Here, I'll give you 30 cards. Like, well, that's a, a, a referral request. But more so, you could say something like, hey, Steven, I've been noticing you're coming in like with so much zip in your step. Tell me about it. Exactly. What's that about your everyday life? What have you learned here that is making such a difference 
on how you're showing up every single day. Tell me about it. Let me celebrate with you. Like, I want to hear your best story today. And please be excited with your practice members and then shout it from the rooftops. Do a Facebook Live. Walk up front and introduce them to your other practice members. Write down their testimonial and share it on Google, on Facebook, in your email newsletters, on your welcome letter. It's their story, and they are so excited for you to share. Go ahead. There's so many more opportunities today than there were 30 years ago. We didn't have all that. You know, I, I came across a binder that I made of testimonials, you know, 25, 30 years ago. And, and you know, they're still very heartwarming to me, you know, and I'm, I'm remembering these people, and, and some of them have gone, you know, either to other places or gone. You know? Yeah. And it's it's – it's so important. Uh, I love when you share in the, the boot camp and you tell them, will you share your story for other people, you know, so that they can hear and that they have the hope, you know, don't you want to teach others? And I love that. I love that. that it's not about you. It's about them helping others. And, and that's important for them too, because sometimes even they're taking the miracles for granted. So by yeah. asking, them, it's letting them say, yeah, you know, you're right. Uh, I have this one lady patient who, um, when she came in, she could barely walk. Yeah, share, share, share. <laughs> she could barely walk. And when she came in, she said, I said, well, what's your goal? You know, what do you want? And she says, well, my son's getting married. I don't remember if it was a month, two months, whatever it was. And I just like to be able to dance with him, you know, at the wedding. I just want to get up and dance. Even if it's just one dance, I want to be able to dance. And, you know, I forgot all about that. I forgot. And after the wedding, she came and showed me picture after picture of her dancing. She says, look, I was dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing. I couldn't have done that without chiropractic. Well, you know what? Everybody needs to hear those stories. That's right. That's right. And that can be an inspiration to others. So ask your practice members and then help them see that your life can make a lasting impact on the life of somebody else. You never know if your story is a story of, of and somebody else listens to it and they're like, wow, she struggled just like I did. Maybe, maybe there is hope for me. Maybe I, maybe I can finally get off these drugs. Maybe, maybe I should just postpone the surgery a few more weeks and and, and, and I'll go see Dr. Hannah, or, or maybe I'll just, your, like your practice members' stories can be so empowering. And please share that with your practice members. And a really easy way, if you're in the boot camp, this is going to be a repeat to you, but it sounds just like this. If I could show you a way to make a lasting impact in the lives of others, would you be interested? And I'll tell you what, I've been asking that question for 20 years. And not one time has someone said, no. I don't want to make a lasting impact in somebody else's life. Not one time. They always say, well, yeah, I'd love to make a lasting impact. It's kind of like, am, am I that important? Yeah, you have tremendous value. You came to me. I helped you. You've been committed to your optimum health and well-being. And now look how much your life has changed. Absolutely, your story will make a lasting impact in the lives of others. And I love that about dancing. So, you know, our son got married July 27th and I got to do the mother son dance. And Sammy, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I just bawled and bawled and bawled <laughs> the entire time because I'm just so, so very proud of him. And, um, but if I, if I wasn't able to do that, that would have been a tragedy. I, I can't even imagine not being able to enjoy that with your child for sure. So as we wrap up <clears throat> um, our time together today, Dr. Claire, like what, what message do you want to make sure lands? I talked to, with Dr. Stephanie Rosenhart today. I think of, I think of things that we say in life and experiences that we have, they can be like dog hair, right? Like if you okay. look at me, I'm always covered in dog hair. We have two dogs and I'm not like super good at the lint roller. So if you ever see me and I've got dog hair, yep, I'm a dog lover. That one's for you, Robin. Um, but at any, any rate, like things can land on us and just stick. And even if we try to get it off, it, it sometimes doesn't get off. 
And sometimes that can be really good stuff and other times it can be bad stuff. So we want to drop all kinds of good stuff this evening. What is a piece of dog hair that you want to make sure lands on our audience tonight that they go home with? Um, one of the things I hear frequently is, well, I want to find a coach or a group or whatever that I'm comfortable with. And I've got to tell you, nothing bothers me more than that, that expression. Because yes, you want to um, resonate with that person. But if you're in a comfort zone, you're not growing, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. It ain't happening. So when people say, oh, I have to be comfortable, or I'm not comfortable with that, or oh, you're really in your face, or you're um, a little intense. I've been told that a few times. You're a little <laughs> intense. You know what? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm, I want to, I hope that lands on everybody that it's okay if someone makes you a little uncomfortable because you're supposed to be thinking about this stuff or you're supposed to be doing something different. You're supposed to be growing. You know, as, as human beings, we're always supposed to be growing, you know, in lots, in every direction, you know, everything from spiritual to physical to intellectual to in our skills, to our relationships, to we're supposed to be growing. And so I hope you're a little uncomfortable. Uh, I hope I didn't make you too, too uncomfortable. I, I hope, that you hear how important it is to be a member of a tribe, uh, to have your friends and the people you practice with and the people you talk to. But also, you know, when I was a new doc, I didn't have time to be in politics. And I said, I don't really care. So I paid my dues so mm -hmm. that those who did have the time would go and fight the battles for me and, mm -hmm. would go in and keep watch on the, the laws in every state. Think about it. Who's watching that there's not something popping up in your state? The ICA is. And you know what? When we go before our senators and congressmen and, and everywhere we go, they say, well, how many do you represent? How mm. many doctors of contract do you represent? And the percentage is like this. And the percentage for the ACA is like this. And the percentage for the state associations. And you know what? You know who the biggest organization is? The NCA, No Chiropractic Association. <laughs> That's not okay, guys. So, you know, I hope I, I shake it up a little bit in that respect, but, but I want you to also to know it's not just because I want to represent you, it's because, you, and because you need representation, it's, it's for your good too. It's a sense of integrity, a sense of citizenship. It's important, it's important. So I hope you're a little uncomfortable, but not too, too uncomfortable. And, and for all those who are within uh, driving distance of, of our office in uh, Georgia, you know, I do hope you come to the event uh, that, that Dr. Eaton is, is hosting at our office. And I'll be there and Dr. Kristen will be there and a few of our friends. And, you know, we might even sneak Dr. Stephen for a few minutes so that he can, you know, say something. Uh, you know, although I think he might be at a meeting somewhere, <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll, we'll share his message uh, and, uh, and look forward to having you. Yeah, absolutely. And all of you um, are invited, please. If you have friends, um, colleagues in the Atlanta area, let them know you can, they can Facebook message me or um, I'll be sure. And we post a link below. It is a catered event. So I just finished up the, the final, um, plans with the cater event planner today and it's going to be very beautiful um so please make sure that you let me know that you're coming so there's plenty of food for you and your guest and dr claire thank you so much for being with us and to all of you who enjoyed this evening with us we really appreciate your time we appreciate your attention we appreciate you being in the trenches and serving in your practice each and every day thanks all of you for your love god bless you have a wonderful night see ya Bye. Bye.